I have someone in the government who actually tells me what's going on and they let me know when legislation comes and things like that. So they keep me up to date because I'm, I'm a person that likes to know what's going on. And um, what, they, what they did is on the 22nd of July 2020, they passed the first bit of legislation to take it away from the government, uh, sorry, the council. Mm. So the local councils all had their authority taken in the DHB. So what then what happened was that they set up this new water regulator and they've been taking it through the process and court, you know passing legislation because they can't do things unless they legislate. So that happened on the 22nd of July last year. So then I got I spoke to my um, informant and they said that it will be next year, which is this year, um, in July, they'll be rolling it out. But today is the last day for submissions if you've got any concerns about the water. I tried to get on um, News Talk ZB and, and tell people, but nobody wanted to de deal with it. So I'm very grateful for this platform to be able to tell you because people need to know that they need to take responsibility because our government is hissing and roaring with chlorine, with um, um, fluoride, the whole nine yards. And so tonight is the last, at 12 o'clock tonight, is the last time frame for this. And then in July, the water regulator will be rolled out. Now, what's going to happen is they've got seven CEOs, about 150 workers, and they it will be divided up into seven areas. And so they will rule over the water. The DHB will take the fluoride side of it, but it will still be under this regulator. Um, the and, seven lords of water, it sounds like some kind of yeah. religion that they're setting up. Well, seven is the perfect number of God, if you know anything about scriptures. So I'm like, no, it's not for us, but this is, and they they will dictate. So Leanne Dalzell, Helen Beaumont, I tried to call Helen Beaumont recently and talk to her about what was going on. She didn't want to know. She twisted my everything I said around to be something I didn't. I'm very concerned for children, babies that are getting chlorine and, and fluoride down the track, that they're going to get it in their water. And it is very carcinogenic. Your cancer rate for chlorine is 93% more chance when you drink in it or shower in it. Because when you shower in it, you get seven times the amount of chlorine in your system as what you did if you drank it. See, and, and I had uh, Alistair Humphreys, who's a medical officer of health, he was, he's been fired. But he actually... Didn't see that coming. Me. Sorry? Didn't see that coming. No, I, I was really surprised. I only found that out last night. I, I went looking to just find out where things were at, and he's gone, baby. And he was just... He was fired. So, unfortunately, poor old um, Alistair... But he was the one that enforced the chlorine in the water. So the council don't have any responsibility to the public to do anything. They're literally off the hook because of the fact that that was enforced. But this new it's bad, isn't it? Is going to be rolled it's out in July. Really and bad. The They're trying to make rules and regulate, tribute. aren't they, tribute? Yes, so what I find interesting is I was talking to Billy D before and there was a wee what you'd call a Freudian slip <clears throat> and the Lord reminded me that there are no mistakes and there are no accidents. And then he quickened to me the ad that he's shown me quite a few times. It's a New Zealand ad, it's called... Um, I forget her name, Mrs. Someone, she's teaching children and there's three different ads I saw on Facebook, they just put them all together, it's a perfect clip, I send it in Messenger and it's about fluoride and how it really gets in, it gets in, fluoride gets in. So the Lord flips these things so there are no accidents or mistakes that I use the word regulate instead of the word revelation I didn't but my spell check did it and I was talking to Billy D and that 
couple of minutes after that I did a wee clip of the puppies and I was talking about this one making all the rules. She's the matriarch because she had her puppies out here. She's allowed to make all the rules. So they make rules and they regulate and now I've just heard Vinnie and it's all linked to fluoride. So that's our tortoise. Moving sure and steady to win the race. With rules and regulations. So that's what they have and that is their strategy. So what's the Lord's strategy? Trivia, eh? What's the Lord's strategy? Let's lay down your life. Just like she is all flat like that. Surrender all to him. And he will light your path. Yeah. And it really does get in. Because the Lord God can flip anything. So this teacher who pretends to be some type of doctor teaching children uses a piece of chalk and she puts it in some blue water and then she breaks the ch chalk and you can see right into the center of it and it really does get in. All the blue gets in and it's all because of the fluoride. So all these rules and regulations the Holy Spirit is sharing with me now are how they, how they plan to get in. They plan to get in. The Lord's flipped it because it's the Holy Ghost. How He gets in. How do we get more of the Lord? We soak in it. Just like that chalk. We soak in it. I know that everyone thinks we have to move past the 90s, the move of the Holy Spirit, but it's a mistake to think that that was not the Holy Spirit saying, wait, wait, and wait on me. Soak in his presence. Receive everything he has so that when he ups the ante, and he will, it will get in, right in. Not like their chalk. The blue on the chalk only went round the outside and went in about whew, 20%. We're talking right in, right through to the center of who you are in Christ, completely, let's just say, enlarged. Your tent is enlarged you are able to receive and move to the next level of glory because we are changed from glory to glory only in his presence it's not even a popular message because everyone wants to be out there doing where the Lord wants us to spend time with him in his presence and only then can we see and hear what the Spirit of the Living God is saying, that He flips it, flips it, turns everything up. He gives us all a heads up who are listening, who are sheep. It's not a derogatory term. The sheep are one with the shepherd, the shepherd as being David. We have the rock and we know how to fling it right dead center into the head of the giant. That is what the Lord would be saying to us today. So flip it, it really does get in. Remember Matthew 22 11 and read backwards from there. Because instead of being outside, gnashing teeth, cast out into darkness, because you're not in the cloak and you do not have any words to say to justify you being there because you don't know him see because it's only those that know him and have the time and they're on that outside of the city they're on the outside of the city
Yeah, men and women that are not highly esteemed in this world. They're from another world because they've, they've been assured that they're going home, they're returning and they're chosen. They're on the outside. They may not even know yet that they are chosen. But there are those ones that are called. And I'm going to see if I can put this on. Right, just stay with me. Because I might as well get this done. I intended on doing it. Okay, I'm just going to have to close some curtains. So I might be able to just go down to the end of the room. Um, the problem will be that I haven't got... So it's my iPad guys, it's my iPad, oopsie, that's my foot, okay, unlock, and we'll go to settings, just stay with me, we will make sure that we are on, wi on Bluetooth, and we're connected, and yeah, our volume is up it's up and we'll go to movies right here we are Now what I will do is I'll play it. So dead cats. Now the dead cats are the name. They're the ones with all the rules and regulations. Now this is Lee and Beth's house. You sleep with my wife and this is what you're telling me? Check your phone. Is your phone broken? What the fuck is that have to do with anything? Is your phone broken? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Just, 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 just show us. No, my phone is not broken. Now what does that have to Your do with you sleeping with my wife? It's always been broken from the beginning of the evening. Your no, Ed's phone is broken. Yeah, so is yours. Broken. Here, the box, the first box that we got, we had a like a random item. What, 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 was, what was your random what item? What the fuck does this what have to do with anything? anything? My, Answer him. The stapler. No, no, no. What? Was that really happening? And ours was a ping pong battle. What? Mine was a napkin. What the fuck are you talking Jeez, about? You, that is not my lead. That is not your Beth, and I am not your Mike. You, you are mad at me. We're in a different, a different reality here. Yeah, we're in a different reality because the reality where I am from, my best friend didn't sleep with my wife. You, do you not understand what I'm saying? This all started tonight, and if there are a million different realities, I have slept with your wife in every one of them. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, baby? Here, hold a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put something on it. I'll put something on it. Okay, something on it. Right, so what's happening here is it's like twin realities. So there are, there's one house they're having a dinner party an asteroid falls and there's a glimp a, um, a blimp in the matrix let's just say and there are other houses that when you go through like well the Lord's told me a word the word is the in-between this isn't the in-between but it's almost like what the in-between is that the Lord showed me when you go through this in between, on the other side is a house identical to this house. And all the power went out, but there was still light in one house. They had a generator, but they could see light down the road at another house. And they all left the house at different periods and visited this, this house 
two blocks up. There seems to be several houses and several groups of people that have twin houses and twin people in. And now because I've made different excursions in and out and they've put different things in different boxes in different houses and now they've all got a different reality of what was in the box they're coming to a place of understanding that everything's mixed up now and they want to get back to normal this one here this female she's the main actress so she cottons on. And in this next bit, the fella who slept with the other guy's wife says something. This is 2012, this movie. The same thing he says is what the Lord showed me in 2018, June, when I was in the glory hut, when I went up the mountain. Now, that was sewn into my testimony, or my story, before I was turned up and saved. When I was a child, when I used to walk for the bus, at first I was a slave to my sister, who would rush us to the bus stop, me and my little brother, and we would always weep and cry. And then when she went to high school, I got to just dawdle, and as I dawdled up the road, I met Beth for the first time, and the Lord reminded me in the glory hut. You see, I have memories from childhood that the Lord is, he unlocks for a reason, because he placed them there. That is my past. He is the God of our past, present, and future. And having all of those three is how the, the Lord will reveal who you are, what your call is, and a revelation that you have to share. And I'm sharing about dead cats, because that's what I saw on the curve, a dead tabby cat. Now, after I saw this movie, which was two nights ago, and I watched it because Enter the Stars had mentioned it. You can go to Enter the Stars and you'll see he's done his, his bit, but my bit comes from the Holy Spirit. His comes from research. So I'm led by the Holy Spirit. And I saw this dead cat, and I studied it. And the Lord reminded me what I was thinking about how it was somebody's pet, and that now it was just kicked to the curb, and people walked past it. And the word it gave me in 2018 was to walk past the dead cat. That they they are dead cats. So when you hear Click talking about they, who are they? Those that try and hide. They're hiding within you. That's why, you know, you don't recognize the evil within. The evil within. You're down, angel. The Lord will show you that it, the evil, the wicked flesh, that you're yoked. But, so, the mean is in you, and that needs to be turned up. But there are others who aren't turned up. That will not be turned out. And they are mean. Children recognize the mean. And the mean are dead cats. Now mean is mentioned in Isaiah. I heard the Holy Spirit tell me mean. And I wrote it in my box. Then I found it in scripture. The word mean. M-E-A-N. is a descriptive term. You could do a wee Bible study and find it. It's in Isaiah. I can't tell you where it is. Because I haven't done the study. And it's in my spirit. And the Lord's brought me full circle and it's in this movie. Remember they have twins. Now they are wondering. They're just wondering. Could this twin. Be their evil twin. They are dead right. Dead right. You know, I've made some, some choices uh, that I'm stuck with. I'm, I'm stuck here. 
I'm like the dead cat, right? This whole night we've been worrying. There's some dark version of us out there somewhere. What if we're the dark version? that <clears throat> so there you go god that's my god gives us a heads up and um i'm on a notice board for the west coast and well someone just put up yesterday that there's a dead cat on the curve gray it's a gray tabby dead cat and they're you know they're sad to say but whose who's cat is it um, so the Lord's bringing me full circle to dead cats just to tell you now walk past the dead cats just walk past them they are dead cats <laughs> 